gentlemen, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, National Executive Committee members of the River State and the River State Working Committee, I welcome you to this maiden press conference of the People's Democratic Coalition, being hosted by our River State chapter, tagged Nigeria Judiciary, Save Our Democracy. The events of the past month leading to the conduct of the 2023 general elections and the outcry of Nigerians following the outcome, which is widely believed not to reflect the will of the majority of the electorate, is not new to us gathered here this afternoon. This verdict has been expressed by local and international observers and crowned by the much detailed and indicting report of the EU election group, observer group, and INEC presided, that the INEC presided over the most shabbily organized election in the history of our country. Today, the battle for the redemption of our democracy has moved to the temple of justice. Can Nigeria judiciary stand up to the occasion and save our democracy? This is the reason we are gathered here today to urge our judiciary not just to redeem their image, but to save our democracy and write their names in the gold plate of history, to resist all forms of intimidation from every quarter and deliver justice to the people of Nigeria. The statement credited to the Nigerian ambassador to the Republic of Guinea, John James Usanga, that annulment of the 2023 presidential election on the basis of the less than 25% vote scored by Bola Ahmed Tinobu is a wake-up knock for vigilance and for us to state the facts as it is before the truth is distorted. It is no longer a hidden fact that outside the manipulations and distortion of the February 25th, 2023 election results that brought him to power, there were other weighty controversial issues about the person of Bola Ahmed Tinubu that squarely disqualified him and made him ineligible to be fielded as a presidential candidate up in issue. Amongst were the forfeiture of money to the U.S. government some years ago, fielding a fake degree to the Nigerian electoral body, lie about dual nationality on the prescribed election, on the prescribed election form, which constitutes forgery. Added to this was the non-achievement of 25% votes in the FCT are stated in the Nigerian electoral extant laws. It is therefore not surprising to every reasonable thinker and analyst that this government is built on illegality and cannot stand. The actual test of law and will be extremely difficult to win the people's confidence. This is the reason the coup d'etat in Niger Republic and, and the junta will readily dismiss any statement from the Nigerian government, and indeed ECOWAS, as nothing and of no effect. Public remarks by social commentators across the globe had insisted that the illegality of the Nigerian president and ECOWAS leader was, has made it difficult to effectively intervene in the Nigerian crisis, in the Nigerian crisis. This is an apt demonstration of the level of unacceptance this administration has subjected itself by her desperation for power. If the judiciary is muzzled down by corrupt forces that are very desperate for power, then Nigeria is doomed to eventual collapse. But if the judiciary is able to hold sway and live up to its billings at this most auspicious time, Nigeria certainly will be restored to our enviable position in the community <coughs> of nations. Whichever, the fate of Nigeria now rests on the willingness of Nigerians to press harder for sanctity of our constitution and electoral laws and say no to injustice. Let's take back our country, wake up Nigerian youths, 
and reject the illegitimate INEC selected president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu must be disqualified. Thank you and God bless you. For the disqualification uh, of the president, uh, are you are you in, uh, are you calling for? Is it that you are calling for the uh, the tribunal to do the right thing, or you? Are, I don't. We don't the, the call is what particularly I don't um, actually understand. Is it the tribunal, or you are asking? Or what, what basis are you calling for the disqualification of uh, the president? Today? Well, the basis are clear, but we will forgive you because you said you came in late. The press conference is that judici Nigerian judiciary save our democracy. So the call is to the judiciary. And from our narrative, the elections have been conducted and the matter is before the courts. And all we are doing as a political pressure group is to ask the Nigerian judiciary to do the right thing. Of course, this call became almost, almost very much necessitated based on the statement of the ambassador of uh, Nigeria to Guinea Bissau, which, of course, you know, the ambassador represents the president and represents the nation. And so we, we, we quickly have to respond to the fact that uh, he has said that if the president was disqualified or the election nullified on the basis of not scoring 25 percent that the country will be thrown into anarchy we saw that as an affront on the judiciary and a way to intimidate them and so it was and we also saw it as um, being economical with the truth we got 25 percent uh, inability to achieve 25 percent is not the only case or evidence before the tribunal. And so he needed to tell the world every other thing that is before the tribunal that makes his, the presidency of Bola Ahmed Tinubu an illegal presidency. And so that truth is what we are telling the people and also calling on the judiciary to stand by whatever evidence is before them and give justice to the people of this country. I want to find out that if this group um, is a breakaway or subsume under the People's Democratic Party, because I'm saying People's Democratic Coalition, that is one. Second one is um, your, your principal, Alaji Atiku Obaka, recently called on the, the tribunal to declare him the winner of the election, going by the fact that he claimed the one and twenty one states of the federation that will be both uh, cast. Would that be jumping the gun since the matter is already before the tribunal? Thank you, sir. Well, clearly, the People's Democratic Coalition is a group that started over a year ago under the ages of the South-South Democratic Coalition. All right now, more Nigerians are embracing it, and so we don't want to restrict it to South-South. And so it is a pan-Nigerian political pressure group. It is not a breakaway from the People's Democratic Party. It is a non-partisan group which will admit anyone who is ready to fight and defend the democracy of this country. I'm very sure that you are aware that after the election, many parties have gone to sleep by every name. And most Nigerians have died in the process of defending parties. But right now, we rather stand to defend democracy and non parties. And that's exactly why we are saying the tribunal should look at the justice of the matter and deliver judgment. And of course, in the second part of your question, there are many prayers before the presidential election petition tribunal. And one of the prayers is that our principal and the, 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 the presidential candidate of the Post Democratic Party have been able to prove beyond any, every reasonable doubt that he won in 21 states. And of course, if you went through the proceeding, INEC never said no. INEC is supposed to defend that, but INEC admitted. And so that clearly places him in a position that he can be declared. However, there are other prayers which have also been prayed, including the nullification of the election and all of that. So it is in the wisdom of the court to decide upon which premises the judgment will be given. This question is, the next question is just uh, out of itself. Uh, premise. Um, two days ago, precisely on Thursday, we saw 
uh, the president's um, name is uh, cabinet. Sorry, he named the the, the, the nominees, and uh, one of those mentioned is member of your party, the former member state uh, government. I want to look at that based on the fact that one um, is member of the PDP. As I put it, do you think uh, that uh, that uh, nomination does it go down well with you and your party? Well, clearly we are talking about a government that is illegal. And so every other thing they are doing is illegal, so it's not worth discussing until legality is instituted. Thank you. I want you to give a are you, are you calling for illegality. Are you calling for him to go by to be withdrawn or something? I said I can't discuss a government that we know is illegal until a legal government elected by the Nigerian people and not the one selected by the dubious INEC is in place. We can't start discussing. You can't build something on nothing. There is presently no foundation. And so whatever they are doing is building castles in the air. When the writing is done, everything you see now will fade into the open.